Hi, it's Mary Kay again from Backbone Valley Nursery in beautiful Marble Falls, Texas. We're coming up on the 4th of July tomorrow, and the 4th of July means a few things to us te Texas gardeners. One is it's time to plant our fall tomatoes. So we do have our first crop of fall tomatoes in. Uh, we, we do recommend that you plant determinate varieties, and hopefully you distinguish the difference between determinate and indeterminate from previous videos. Determinate varieties grow up and produce flowers and produce fruit and then stop growing and these are best for fall because you want them to uh, produce all their fruit about the same time in case we get a freeze which is inevitable um, that way you can um, harvest all the fruit at the same time let it ripen in your home and you won't have the losses that you might if you had the indeterminate which keep producing and producing and producing at different stages so come on in and get your uh, this is a celebrity. It's a semi-determinate tomato, and we have other determinate varieties available. Come in and get your tomato transplants. Uh, we don't have our pepper transplants in yet, but we will very soon. So other um, vegetable garden plants that you'll want to be looking at right now, we have the seed spore. We have southern peas, which include the California black eye, the pink eye purple hole, which is one of my very favorites. You can still plant another crop of cucumbers right now. You can plant corn. Remember to do several short rows as they are wind pollinated and they will need to uh, be in several short rows as opposed to one long one. And summer squashes. Now we have the early prolific straight neck, the cube of butter, and the black beauty. I planted this cube of butter this year and it was cube of butter. It absolutely melted in your mouth. I just sliced it raw in salads and it just was so good so this is this has become one of my new favorites so get your fall garden ready it's time to be taking out things that are old and tired uh, working more compost into your soil and getting ready to plant remember that your new transplants would appreciate some afternoon shade as it's extremely hot out there right now so if you could rig up some something easy like a couple of t-posts with some cardboard on the west side or i've seen people put umbrellas you can also use row covers over the little babies also with the new seedlings coming up when they first come out half a day afternoon shade would be very helpful for them in the heat of the summer and then as we get into the fall and, and as they get bigger you can start removing that shade and they'll be much much better but time to go for fall gardens they're oftentimes even better than spring gardens and with all the rain we had this year spring gardens weren't the best so i hope you have a great fall garden come in and see us see you next time